Hello, today's book is called The Magical Garden of Claude Monet and we all need a bit of magic and I hope that you will enjoy this beautiful story as much as I always do enjoy reading it. So this is how it starts. I wish we had a garden, said Julie. She looked down at the grey river which ran through the city. Even Louis, the greyhound, was bored of being inside. As soon as I have finished the painting, said Julie's mother, I'll take you on a journey to the most wonderful garden in the world. It belongs to my old friend, the painter, painter Claude Monet. They took a big black train beside a twisting river far out of the city. So there she is at home. Where is Julie going to take a train with her mum? And she's going to go visit this incredible garden. And they went into the countryside. De Louis began to run down the hill into a lane where a huge wall stood around the mysterious garden. Stop, Louis, called Julie, but it was too late. Louis had gone. Julie didn't know what to do. She got down on her hands and knees and she wriggled inside. So there she is, arriving to the countryside with her mum. And there is the wall around the garden and of course her dog going in. And she followed him. It was like crawling into a dreamy world where twisting plants grew as tall as trees. Julie ran around the corner and almost knocked over a big man with a spade. The man had a straw hat and a huge white beard. Oh, said Julie, I'm looking for my dog. Are you the gardener? I suppose I am, said the man. Come and look. So there's the scene when she enters this garden. And this is the man with the beard and um, straw hat. I wonder who could that be? And he invited her to come and explore his garden. One day, these tiny seedlings will grow into big flowers. But a gardener has to be very patient, just like a painter. Then Julie realised, oh, you are Claude Monet, she gasped. Yes, laughed the old man. I am Claude Monet. Together they searched for Louis along the shady path deeper and deeper into the magical garden until it seemed as if they had left the real world behind. But there they are, talking about the plants. And this is them walking in his garden. Under a willow, Julie saw a Monet umbrella like a huge white mushroom and there was Louis. He had a blue nose, purple ear and one grey paw. Naughty dog, shouted Julie, you walked all over Mr Monet's paints. I think your dog wants to be a paint too, laughed Monet. Hey, he, he's made a picture as well. Then Julie saw Monet's painting glide on in the sun to dry. Clouds floating on a mirror pond, a field of golden haystacks, raw wispy poplars, a little Japanese bridge. The brushed marks glowed like a flowers in the garden. So, there's the dog that started doing the painting. But these are some of the real Claude Monet paintings that Julie saw in the garden. There's the little Japanese bridge. They turned the handle on a rickety gate and stepped inside. It was like a garden 
inside the garden, a wild, wet, watery garden where willows bowed over a silver pond. Together they crossed the, gray, uh, the green bridge. So the bridge that's in the painting is actually a real bridge. And here they are crossing over the lily ponds. When they rode across the pond, it felt like floating in Mr. Monet's painting. So now, look. Mr. Monet liked big paintings and whoever made the book really liked big books. So I'll come closer so you can look at the There they are, floating. And there's this side, which you also need to see. Again, there's the little Japanese bridge. Mm. Julie heard the splash of the oars and the birds calling in the tree. All around them, lilies sparkled like a midnight sky. When they reached the very middle of the pond, Monet stretched into the dark water and pulled out the flower, the biggest lily of all, as bright as a silver star. A little present from my water garden, he said. So there's Mr. Monet. Getting a huge water lily for Julie. They walked back towards the house and Monet pushed open a huge studio door. Here is my biggest idea of all, he said proudly. I'm trying to paint the most enormous water garden in the world. When you stand in the middle, you will feel as if you have dived into a pool. It will be amazing, said Julie. For a moment, Monet looked sad, but to tell the truth, I wonder if he I wonder if I will ever finish, he said. I'm mauled now and my eyesight is really bad, Julie thought for a moment. You will need to be very patient, she said. Just like a gardener. Yes, he smiled, just like a gardener. Then Claude Monet pulled out a big watch. Four o'clock precisely, he said. Time for tea. So this is this was his biggest idea to paint these water lilies to go all around and there's another beautiful illustration of Julie and Monet walking around his garden waiting in the yellow dining room surrounded by pictures from Japan sat Mrs. Monet and Julie's mother. Here are your little, here are our little runaways, said Monet. So there they are. There's the yellow room. And they are having a lovely tea in the yellow room. Then it was time to leave. Monet walked with them as far as the river. Louis wanted to say goodbye too, but as he jumped up, Julie's beautiful lily went flying into the river. Oh, Louis, shouted Julie, that was a very special lily. They took the train back to the city and even Louis was tired. The garden seemed like a distant dream. So, there's the dog jumping and the lily ending up in the river. And this, there they are going back to the city. But in the middle.
middle of the night, Julie heard Louis whining to go outside. So she tiptoed through the apartment beneath the balcony. Something was sparkling on the river. Julie ran outside and stretched out into the dark water. She pulled out a lily as bright as a silver star. Perhaps it is a little present from the water garden, she whispered. And as the city slept, she breathed in the sweet smell of the magical garden of Claude Monet. And so there she is, going out and getting the water lily. And there is the little page, and I would like to read you a little bit about Claude Monet and about the real Julie, who was the girl in this story. So this picture book is actually based on the real girl. And uh, born in 1840, Claude Monet lived all his life along the River Seine. He always preferred to paint outdoors and is often described as the father of Impressionism. Second only to his passion for painting was his love of nature and gardening. He once paid a woodcutter to spare a row of trees that he was painting. In 1883, while still very poor, Monet rented the green and pink house at Chiverny, which became a beautiful home for his extended family. Over the years, his fame increased and he became very, very rich indeed. Eventually, buying his house and uh, employing gardeners to help create the water gardens, the subject of much of his late work. Monet was immensely disciplined, usually rising at 4 a.m. and always insisting that the house run like a clockwork. He set equally high standards for his work. On one occasion, a gardener was ordered to burn several paintings which Monet considered unsuccessful. Lots of artists do that, just so you know. And um, on another, Monet threw his canvas easel and brushes into the water. So yeah, we all get a little bit frustrated. During the First World War, fighting went on so near Monet's house that he could hear the guns. But although his son was killed in action, Monet refused to leave his beloved garden. Monet had numerous young visitors at Giverny, but Julie is based on a very special girl. Julie Manet, daughter of the great Impressionist Bert Morisot, uh, Julie's mother and Monet were great friends and he owed several of Bert's paintings. By coincidence, Julie was born on Monet's birthday. Julie's uncle was the painter Edouard, uh, Edouard Manet and many of the great artists and writers of this time were visitors to the apartment. Julie's greyhound was a gift from Renoir who also presented her with a set of crayons, a novelty in those days, which helped to set Julie on the path of self-expression. You can still visit the magical garden of Claude Monet, just one hour by train along the river from Paris. Visitors will see the yellow dining room and the huge studio that the 76-year-old artist built for his last great masterpiece, the Circular Water Lily series. You can wander along the path over the Japanese bridge, just like Julie. Look down in the sprinkled water and you will see lilies as bright as the silver stars. And one more time. If we look at this beautiful painting. where they're floating on the pond with the water lilies. I hope that you enjoyed the book and it might be a good idea to look into Monet's paintings, see which one you like see how many water lilies you could find, think about the colours he was using, because the next project might have something to do with 
Claude Monet and his paintings.